Mitch Lavon and Jeremy White recently chatted with Greg Rule and Tom Weber about all things Van Halen related. Both had worked on the road with Van Halen. Greg worked as the keyboard tech, whilst Tom was Eddie's personnel guitar tech. As you might imagine, Rule and Weber have plenty of amazing tour stories between the two of them. And, among others, they shared some particularly amusing anecdotes about why, of all things, Eddie Van Halen was forced to stop throwing picks into the crowd at Van Halen shows. Hey Tom, you have to tell the story about the guitar picks. So just a, a quick little setup is we we all collect amazing memorabilia from our tours. Mm -hmm. And I remember one of my little treasured uh, items that I received from 2015, Tom gave me a set of, I think there were five different designed picks uh, that Ed came up with for that tour. Tom gave me a set of them. But uh, I think it may have been the first or the second show of the tour, Ed was instructed never to throw the picks out into the audience again, uh, because I think he did it the first show when there was a brawl. Yeah, yeah it was just the, the memo came down early in the tour that uh, Ed, please don't throw any more picks out into the audience. It incited a brawl. And it so he agreed. And I think that's when they started to uh, sell the picks, right, Tom? Is that how that all happened? Right. That is it. Yeah, I, I, I the uh, I got the I got uh, kind of potentially in hot water at one point um, during the uh, the 07 tour because mm. I carried all of Ed's picks with me on the bus. They weren't in my rig. They were in my bunk in a in a uh, basically small, like overnight bag type of a thing. The, the thing was, you know, they started showing up on eBay. Mm. And, you know, the first half of the tour, we didn't have a signature pick. You know, oh. it wasn't it wasn't until the second half of the tour, these things start right. showing up on eBay. And it's like, mm. okay, I would put, you know, a whole bunch of them out on the way it worked. There were the, 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 the red, white and black stripe picks. And then uh, like a, a Herco 50 in silver, mm -hmm. which were the, the picks that he played on stage. And then we had the same thing in the gold pick. And he carried those around in his pocket, basically, so that, you know, if he wanted to hand one to somebody, the only way you were going to get a gold one was from Ed himself. And I, I put I put those out on, on his mic stand so that he could use or hand out or you know, do whatever, pitch whatever he wanted to pitch at the time, mm. and we never counted anything. He said, just you know, line the mic stand with him, and I'd always get a stage hand, and I, because the first thing that anybody was going to do after a Van Halen show, <laughs> stage hands are going to go after Ed's guitar guitar picks on the mic stand. So, whoever I would, I would pick, you know, during the when we loaded in, I'd say, okay, come and find me before the show's over. And then when they would come and find me and let me know they were there, I said, okay, the first thing that you do when the lights go off at the end of the show, you go up on that stage and you bring me Ed's guitar or Ed's microphone stand with all the picks attached. Don't let anybody take them. And I'll take care of you guitar picks wise, you know, from there. Well, at one point, it was brought to my attention that management was seeing these things being sold on eBay for three, four, five, six hundred dollars a piece. And where are these guitar picks coming from? Because there are obviously the, the person that's selling them has multiples of them. Mm -hmm. It's like, okay, I don't know what's going on here because I carry Ed's picks with me like a little old lady carrying her purse in the hood. Yeah, you know, <laughs> well, one one this this goes on and, and i'm kind of suspect here you know this isn't good i don't like this at all i'm i'm not happy about this and uh one day i'm sitting at dinner and catering and one of the video guys comes up to me and he says i know where your guitar picks are going really he said yeah we we used to strike all the microphone stands to the drum riser and then there was a big scrim cloth that that covered the the drum riser and then at the beginning of the show that would go straight up in the air mm. but all of the all the microphone stands with all the picks on them would go on the drum riser and then the scrim would come down so 
the video guy informed me that nobody knew it, but that day he had installed a video camera pointing straight down at the drum set. And one of, one of the guys on the crew was waiting for everybody to go to dinner. And then he'd sneak up there and, and take guitar picks off of Ed's mic stand. And I, I found him right after dinner. I said, okay, I know what's going on. And if you don't want to go home tonight, you stop because you're going to cost me my job and I'm not having it. Dude, sorry. You know, I, 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 I didn't, I didn't mean any harm. He's like, yeah, well, you're making, you're making 12, $1,800 a week, more than the rest of everybody in your department by selling Ed's guitar picks. Tom was then asked why the crew member was not fired. He said, I just didn't think that it was that big a deal. I didn't want to get, I didn't want that. I didn't want it to, to I didn't want to beat that guy. You know, I would rather yeah. address the issue myself and say, okay, you have one chance to correct this. And if you don't, then. Thank you for tuning in and please hit that like button. It's appreciated. Make sure that you subscribe for more rock related content.